Moji Olaya is the daughter of Victor Olaya and she is making a name for herself in the movie industry. Here's more on that. Yoruba movie star Moji Olaya needs no introduction. Having portrayed various demanding characters in many home videos, Olaya's break was from a television series just a couple of years ago. When I started way back then, um, well, well, let's say when I started, there used to be a lot of discipline in the industry. It's your talent that will speak for you, not your money, not your beauty. Your talent speaks for you. And uh, we're so dedicated in whatever we're doing. But these days you find if you have your money, if you know your producer, if you know your director, you are good to go. But financially, financially and um, some, some other things, let's say, um, person, person, let's speak about personality. It has changed a lot because way back then we're finding it difficult to get visas find it very difficult to get recognition, but this day, a lot of people, we are well recognized, both here in Nigeria and outside the country. So personal, personally, about personalities, it has really changed a lot. Ataro Latin Duro. Mute liru po le wa moni yo. Oye lado. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The 40-year-old actress and daughter of Juju music legend Victor Olaya has set the tabloids on fire with the many controversial stories around her. You know this job at times, the way we go on and on and on and on and on, you can hardly stay in a place. It affects your home, friendship. So a lot of things come along with, with stardom. A lot of things come along with stardom. A lot of things. I can't specifically say this is a challenge, but a lot of things come along with it. A mother of one, Moji walked out of her 2007 marriage some time ago. With the benefit of hindsight, she faults her inability to find a proper balance between work and family. I heard a lot of people saying a lot of things that, oh, probably she wants to be a Boko Haram, and probably it's because she wants to date somebody's husband. Lots of horrible comments were said about me. But one thing I believe is that there's always a price to pay for stardom. That is the price I'm paying for stardom, so I don't let it affect me in any way. She was also in the news last year when she decided to change her religion. As long as I'm not I'm worshipping an idol, as long as I'm worshipping God, I don't think it's affected them in any way. They believe I'm an adult, I'm entitled to my opinions, and um, I'm entitled to what I believe. So they don't have anything bad against it. Although she started off her career on an English production, Moji Olaya now predominantly features more in Yoruba productions. Because I'm a Yoruba girl, and that is what they call me for most of the time. If they call me for English production, I will also do because I believe I'm versatile. And um, that's what they call me for most of the time. And I'm proud too, because you know we have culture. Yoruba is very rich in culture. The way you interpret your roles when it's in a Yoruba film is quite different from how you interpret your roles when it comes to other productions. So it's, it's a good thing that I do a lot of Yoruba jobs. So what are you going to do? Can you hear me? I am going to go to the house. I am going to go to the house. I am going to go to the house. I am 
et si au ti dan on si bere ni the first movie i ever acted was a series it was a um, super story it was a series so um i was thinking probably people were not going to accept me but because you know then super story was well accepted everyone wants to watch watch super story day them back then so i i got the acceptance and then um, it was a wow job so it was well accepted and um people's opinion to me was like well done and even though the tales have been filled with ups and downs moji olaya is determined to make her journey into acting a success <laughs> Je suis en train de faire une vision.